They've got a man spare and Chilton at full stretch again. You know, I was always very passionate about wanting to play for my country. To start playing regularly uh, in what is now the Premier League at 17 years of age was, was obviously um, very young to start. I don't think it would happen in this day and age. At club level, um, the highlight was winning two European Cups with Nottingham Forest in terms of winning trophies and a League Championship, League Cups in three years under Brian Clough. That was probably something that would never be surpassed again at a club like Nottingham Forest. And to play 1,005 league games um, was something that I was very proud of because it shows that you, the consistency in your career and, and the length of your career. It's the ball and it's running loose. They've got a man over Shilton, makes an excellent block and denies them. You always have the, the highlight of your first cap, which was uh, against East Germany under the great Stroud Ramsey. And then obviously to go on and represent England another 124 times, which makes it the record, 125, was obviously something I never dreamed of. Came back off the foot of Steve Hodge and Maradona gives Argentina the lead. The England players protesting to the... I mean, I don't like to be associated with the incident personally for, for obvious reasons after playing for England for 20 years in, and achieved so much because it's remembered for all the wrong reasons. But obviously it was the England team that, that were affected um, on the day. Um, but I was obviously involved with the incident and, and it's something people do remember uh, around the world uh, for, for all the wrong reasons. You've got the world's greatest player at the time, Diego Maradona, sort of cheating, putting the ball in with his hand um, and getting away with it, really. And obviously the, the aftermath of the Hand of God quote um, and not really ever admitting to, to having done it or even apologising afterwards. Uh, I don't think he's done that to this day. But I think probably the highlight of my England career was, was the, the, my final World Cup in 1990 when we got all the way through to the, the semi-finals. Well, I always remember one save in particular for England was against Scotland in 1973 because I was just starting out in my career. And it was an England-Scotland match, which were always very big games in those days. And it was, we were winning 1-0 with 10 minutes to go and the ball came to a great Kenny Dalgleish on the edge of the box and he hit a shot and I was going with my left hand and realised I wasn't going to get it. And for some reason, instinct, I brought my right hand over and sort of palmed it away. But we won the game 1-0 and it established me in the England team for years to come. To make the save against Scotland was obviously great because in those days there was a hell of a lot of rivalry and it, to go back to your club it gave me a lot of pride um, and I could give the Scots a little bit of stick as well but I think playing for England to me was just the greatest honour ever and every game I played for England I wanted to do well, I wanted to try and keep a clean sheet and I wanted to perform and I wanted to win and to captain England as well was an absolute dream, it was just an extra, it was the greatest honour that I think any footballer can have to, to captain the country. Well done,